Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode two of my mission. Online. This is the Coach's Corner, and I am Ryan Roy, and I am excited to uh, share with you another edition of my thoughts. Uh, hopefully, inspire you to think a little bit differently and uh, just give you a little insight into the way I think. I'll tell you right now that I know I think a little bit differently than most. Um, and I'm okay with that. Um, I've had lots of people in my life who are mentors. I've had lots of people in my life who uh, don't agree with me, as I imagine many of you do. Uh, but it's not my goal. Let me let me re, re, re say that. It's not my goal to get you to think like me. It's my goal is to challenge you to look at another perspective or think differently. So last night I was um, thinking about what I wanted to talk about today and I, I thought to myself, it's so important to have mentors, coaches, um, people who can uplift us and guide us throughout life. But who is the ultimate mentor? And uh, if I were to answer that today in my life as a Christian, my ultimate mentor and the person whom I look up to the most is Jesus Christ and how he has, uh, how he walked while he was here on this earth, how he was perfect in his words, with his words. He was perfect with his actions. And that says so much. Now, we will always fall short of what he is. But if we're looking for a model of someone to look up to or how to act as best we can, he is the perfect example. Um, so how do you emulate someone who was here on this earth 2,000 years ago? Uh, and I didn't understand this not too long ago, and that's why I'm sharing it with you. Just know that every time I share with you as an audience, I'm learning and growing myself. Uh, I don't have this uh, down perfectly. I am not Jesus. I am not perfect. But as I continue to learn and grow, I find that as I learn and grow, and I share, right, one, uh, the best way to learn something is to teach it, right? It reinforces, and you need to do it at a high level so that someone else can understand. Uh, so how do you know who Jesus is? Uh, there's this amazing document or series of documents that was put together, and, and it's called the Bible. It has an Old Testament and a New Testament, and the New Testament uh, has four books in it uh, of men who um, documented the things that Jesus did from their perspective. All four of those documents uh, are very similar, yet they're written at different times by different men. So the overlap, but the different perspectives, um, give you a pretty good clue and idea that these things are true. So I would encourage you, if you want to walk like Jesus, you want to act like Jesus, first you need to know who he is. And I didn't fully understand that until I gave myself to the Lord back on August 30th, 2016. And that's when I started to read the Bible for the first time. Um, when I started to read the Bible and get into men's groups or study groups, I started recognizing a theme as I'm a coach or a life coach and I'm a mentor to a lot of people and I guide and uplift them and when I started broadcasting and, and doing videos like this I started attracting a lot of people just like yourself Christians and I didn't know why and somebody pointed out to me one day and I'm like you you do recognize you are attracting a lot of Christians well I'll tell you it's not because um, I was studying the Bible because I studied a thing called personal development, which to to now hindsight being twenty twenty, I guarantee you all of the personal development courses I know for a fact because um, I've read a lot of them are literally brought the concepts are brought from the Bible. They just don't have they they happen to not use the word Jesus because some people have certain experiences with religion or organized religion or the church where they're turned off by that. 
So they took in personal development all these amazing concepts that are shared in the Bible. They rebranded them into personal development and are sold to millions upon millions of people who are searching for something and they don't even know what they are seeking. I didn't know what I was seeking is the truth. And the truth is in the Bible. Uh, again, it's just branded without the words in the Bible. Uh, the reason I was drawn to personal development is one, I, I wasn't brought up with religion in my household. And number two, I was driven by forces uh, that a lot of people in society are driven by. I wanted to be a better man. And society tells us, man, if you're listening to this, don't, don't listen to this garbage. Society tells us we're defined by how much money we make or our profession and how much prestige we have. So when I found out I was about to become a father, I needed to learn how to make more money to provide for my family. So I was drawn to a company that guaranteed that you would learn a lot of how to make money through uh, certain seminars they were holding to uh, brand yourself better and market yourself better and become a, a business guru. And I was attracted to that. But what I found once I invested uh, nearly $50,000 of my hard-earned money into this personal development, I would have much rather tithe, guys, by the, by the way. Um, but this was my process, so I don't regret it. Um, but I learned early on that it was so much about me and not about the business strategies. It was so much about how I found worth in myself. It was about how much I valued myself, how much integrity I had to oneself that was important. And if I were was following these things and I deemed myself worthy, right, of making a lot of money, and I deemed myself capable of doing anything, and I viewed myself as being rich, therefore I would be rich, that's when the shift started happening. Now, as I say that, many of you start recognizing that, um, hey, am I worthy of God's love? I will answer the question, yes, especially if you believe, not in him, but if you believe that you are. Because if you believe in him, then you believe that you are worthy. Then you sit there saying, well, how do I do this? Well, what does God say? He says to lean on Him. But I think I mentioned this in the first video. We must take the actions. We must have the relationship with Him so that we can learn to trust Him. You'll notice I put up there in the title, Who, was, is that right there? Yeah. Who is your mentor? And mentor is a capital M because mentor should be God and or Jesus, but they are one and the same. And you have to have a relationship with with this living person, Jesus, as he lives inside of you if you've accepted him into your life. So, my question to you is, who really is your mentor? What are your worldly... Listen to what I said. What are your worldly desires? And I hope it's to uplift and empower him. But here's the ultimate question. This is the ultimate, ultimate question. And, and I'm going to read from my notes. I took some notes last night as I was, I was thinking this out. And I said, what do you want? And I'm pausing here for a reason. And I'll say it again. What do you want? See, I was reading a, a book in personal development again. But as I dug a little bit deeper, the author of these personal development books, which are over 100 years old and world-renowned, uh, some of the best pe personal development books and some of the first ones, was a Christian man. And he said that 97% of people, when you ask the question, what do you want, they don't have the answer. They never thought of it. 
they'll actually start asking questions about the question and the question is simple what is it that you want for yourself in this world what is it that you want it's a very personal question so there shouldn't be any questions posed back but people will say what do you mean what do I want what do I want for dinner what do I want for my kids what do I want for my life what do I want to do next year what do I want to do for vacation what do you mean what do I want? And the answer I would respond to all of those questions is yes. Ryan, what do you mean yes? Yes, what do you want? All of those things, what do you want? See, as a coach, when I help people, I ask them what they want in five areas of their life. And then we start a path to starting to achieve that, to create a life of balance and structure of what they really desire and many times when I start working with somebody I always find it interesting because people want what society tells them they should have and guess what it's not what you want that's what the billboards are telling you that's what TV is telling you that's what the news casts are telling you you want to have this perfect amazing body you want to have a sparkling smile you want to have the best career you want to travel the world and see what the world has to offer my question is is that what you want or is that what society is telling you should have to feel fulfilled or feel successful see I just said that when I start working with people we map out the five areas of their life that they want to have certain goals in and I ask them what they want and we start drilling down to figure out what they really want what you really want I ask clarifying questions so that we get to the heart of the matter if that's what you really desire what you think you desire what you think society desires but I'll come back to this well I'll say this first more more people most people spend more time planning one vacation than they do planning their lives if I asked any of you what you did to go on your last vacation or what you're gonna do on this next vacation many of you would give me in great deal first I'd say where are you going if you don't know where you're going you're never gonna get there so hopefully you have a destination for vacation I personally like beaches I personally absolutely love Hawaii so if I said that my next family vacation is going to Hawaii uh, that's one the destination then you may ask me oh when are you going I have an actual date then you know the next question would be like oh how much were airline tickets and I would tell you because I researched it on multiple websites night after night trying to get the best deal then you might ask me hey what hotels are you staying in or hotel and I may say that so how long are you going I'll tell you that because I researched it then you might get into some details what sites are you gonna see when you're in Hawaii and I will have researched that and I'm only going for a week but yet the research on this week trip maybe two weeks it's Hawaii it's a long enough trip to take two weeks as I tell you all these things as you ask more and more questions I have all the answers because I understand my destination and where I want to go but when I ask you what do you want for your life you may not have the answers there's no clarity you don't know what you want 10 years from now and if you don't know where you want to go I can guarantee you you're never gonna get there and if you do arrive for some strange reasons you won't even know that you're there why because you didn't have a plan to get there see Jesus has a plan for your life God has a plan for your life but you gotta ask him what that plan is and you must be able to listen but you don't understand his words if you are unwilling to dive into what it is he had to say while he was here and you could find that in the Bible so people go through life you may be going through life I for a long time went through life 
doing things that society wanted me to do or my mother wanted me to do or what I thought my father would be proud that I was doing or maybe my friends I remember being in a relationship way too long because a friend of mine told me it wouldn't work and I just I know now subconsciously I wanted to prove him wrong I did what he thought ah she's not good enough for you I'll prove you this relationship's fine I'm gonna make it work sometimes we do what the boss wants us to do even though we know it's not the right thing to do see our lives are led by what other people's expectations are but there's only one true expectation and that's our Heavenly Father and His Son Jesus Christ dying on the cross and He wants you to represent Him and what He stood for. And He wants you to become and create more disciples. Everyone else has an agenda for your life. The only one who doesn't have an agenda is Jesus Christ. And if you're having a hard time deciphering what it is that Jesus has in store for your life. Maybe you need to find a mentor here. Here, here on earth who wants you to find your purpose. If you don't know your purpose, if you're searching for your purpose, maybe someone needs to start asking you some of the right questions. And that's what I like to do for my, my clients. It's what I like to do for my friends, my family. And sometimes answering those questions aren't always easy. So I'm going to leave you with this very simple question. What do you want? I encourage you to write it down. And if you're staring into a piece of paper with pen in hand and you don't know what to write, Maybe you need some guidance. My name's Ryan Roy. I am a life coach. I'm a believer in Christ. I'm a husband, a father, a coach, a speaker, an author, and someone who would love to assist you in that journey. Please feel free to reach out to me. All of my contact information is here on the site. And I would love, love, love if you're having any challenges with this area in your life. Love to sit down and have a conversation with you, complimentary on me to get to know you and hopefully gain some clarity. Um, with that, I'll leave you with that. That's a big question. What do you want? Have a blessed, beautiful, amazing day. From Justifier, Just Do It, and myself, we'll talk to you soon.